Hello everybody and welcome to our first instalment of the social media updates. My name is Daniel Byrne and I'm a social media educator here at the Shaw Academy. So what we're going to be doing in these weekly instalments is we're going to be giving you a quick insight into the breaking news from the week before of what's gone on in the social media world. Um, so this can range from anything to do with some of the bigger platforms like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, uh, right through some of the social media tools we use. So anything the Hootsuite, Buffer, um, Mention, anything that them guys are up to, we're going to be reporting it in this little breakdown. So we're going to begin the very first installment of this with a little update coming to us from Facebook. And it's been a very busy week for Facebook indeed and we do have two updates on what Facebook have been at. One positive and one negative. So, you might have logged onto Facebook this week and been met with a screen like this. Sorry, something went wrong. What's happened here is, once again, Facebook has gone down. And this, you know, this is becoming a slightly more common occurrence. This is the third time in three weeks that Facebook has actually gone down. And when we look at the official statement from Facebook, they've, they've come out and said that this has been a configuration issue. Now, we do know that Facebook is a massive company and they're constantly making changes to their um, the platform and the way you actually engage at Facebook. But when something goes down, you know, people tend to look for alternatives, they want to find a different way to engage with people. So naturally they take to Twitter and the hashtag that emerged from this was Facebook down. And there was a few kind of comical instances of, you know, people coming up with some really genius tweets for this. Um, so a few examples here. The first one we have up is, have you tried turning it off and turning it off, turn, have you tried turning it off and then back on Mark Zuckerberg? Uh, I think he might have tried that one. How will I know whose birthday it is? Or who will invite me to play Farmville? You know, this is what comes on when, this is what happens when Facebook goes down. When... When Facebook is up, you know, you get your invitations for Candy Crush, you get them for Farmville, you know. But without Facebook, you're not getting these, you know. I don't play Farmville, I don't play Candy Crush, so, but I still get the invitations. And I, I'm not going to lie, sometimes I forget people's birthdays, um, and Facebook just kind of makes it a, is a handy way for me to know whose birthday is coming up and what presents I need to buy for people. And then we have just looked at the window and seen everyone is in the street showing each other what they're having for supper. Hashtag Facebook down. Anyone not familiar with supper, it's kind of the meal in between bed and dinner. So, you know, it's kind of your last meal of the day. It's, it's normally not that big. It's just kind of a way to keep you going. Um, but, you know, Facebook is a really good platform for showing pictures of your food, as is Instagram. And when it goes down, you know, we need to find something else. So this guy was saying he'd seen people actually just showing their meals off to people in the streets. It's been a big week for Twitter as well. Twitter are one of the leading platforms for social commerce. And this week they've looked at really, really improving this. They've brought on three new partners to help them in the form of Big Commerce, Demandware and Shopify. So three really big players in the industry of e-commerce. Now, unfortunately, their e-commerce and social commerce, which is their buy buttons, are still only available in the US. But, you know, it's slowly being rolled out. And I'm kind of hoping in the next six to 12 months that this will be available worldwide. And myself over here in Dublin, I am really excited to be seeing this. You know, seeing a social media platform challenge the likes of eBay and Amazon is definitely going to be something to keep an eye out on in the coming months. Anyone that hasn't seen it yet, this is an example of what this looks like. So we have this example coming from Britain Co. Uh, Fanny packs for the win. This one is exclusive to Britain Co. Shop to it on Twitter. Now, this one probably isn't for me. It's a bit colourful. Um, I don't normally tend to wear a fanny pack. But you can see that we have that big buy button there underneath the $32. Now, what's interesting for this is that we can offer exclusives to our social media users. I think it's going to be a really good way for businesses to kind of grow on the social platform. You know, it's going to definitely reduce their costs. You know, there's no need for them to open a, um, a website other than for information, which can also be housed on social media. So I think it's going to change the way we interact with uh, both e-commerce, social media and the web in general going forward. Now, finally, we do have another Facebook update and this is our positive one. This week, Facebook announced that they're going to be talking about profile videos and steadily rolling this out. Now, I know what you're thinking. I already have videos on my profile. Like, I link them from YouTube. I find that I can upload them directly to Facebook. But that's not what this is. Facebook profile videos is a replacement for your Facebook profile picture. Now, what Facebook is allowing you to do is record up to seven seconds for yourself and put it as your Facebook profile um, video, video slash um, picture. 
And I know what you're thinking, you know, this is kind of reminiscent of Harry Potter when you see the Daily Prophet, you know, you can see the videos moving in that. I think that's what we're moving towards, you know. We, we do have GIFs online, or GIFs, as some people call them. Um, GIF for me. Um, but, you know, I think it's just going to be really good to see, and it's definitely going to be a good one for businesses to keep an eye out. But it is still being rolled out at the minute. It's not exclusive anywhere. It's just kind of being, it's a staggered launch. And when the update does come to you eventually, um, we can see that you'll be prompted to record a video or upload one from your own uh, mobile device. Uh, what's really interesting, that it, this was kind of came along with the launch of this as well, was that they're also going to allow you to put temporary filters on it or schedule your actual um, profiles, uh, the pictures of the videos. So the filters, one of the big ones we've seen is the rainbow flag for pride. Um, we've also seen, um, you know, the example they had, or an example I've seen, was like for the 4th of July, if you're looking to get really, really patriotic in your video, you can schedule a video just to be up for the 4th of July, and then it will go back to its original on the 5th of July. And that has been our quick snapshot into the week of social media. As I said, my name has been Daniel Byrne. I'm a social media educator here at the Shaw Academy. And if you're interested to learn any more about the articles we've just discussed or anything to do with social media marketing in general, please feel free to pop me through an email. You can see it on screen there, socialmedia.marketing at shawacademy.com. But that has been it for me today, guys. Do look for, I do look forward to you listening to my next uh, installment of this, which is going to be up next Friday. Uh, but that has been it for me today, and I do look forward to seeing you in class.